Jalen Green has been on an absolutely different planet since the month of March started. He's hooping on a different level right now and showing the world why he was the number two overall pick a few years back. Either he's finally figured it out or he's having some sort of out of body experience because the shift in play was almost night and day. You can definitely tell something clicked for him on the mental side of things because this isn't just a skill thing. He's always had the potential to be this type of player. He dropped 34 points in back-to-back -back games against Phoenix to start the month off and from there his confidence just rose tremendously. Sometimes that's all it takes is for you to be like, man, let me just lock in and stop playing with these dudes. Confidence is everything. LeBron said it best years back. He said that the margin of skill level between average and great players in the NBA isn't as big as we think. He said that the biggest difference is that the great players possess that ability to truly lock in on their craft every single day. Also, for Green, it doesn't hurt having some external motivation. Earlier this month, the internet was going crazy when they found out that he was having a baby by a woman 17 years his senior. Now, in any way, shape, or form, does that affect you or I or anybody outside of their relationship? No, but the internet is going to internet and we know how social media is. They were tearing her up for at least a good three days after it was announced. Plus, nothing will give you more motivation than finding out you got a little one on the way. And ever since then, he's been on a tear. He must have got tired of all the talk about who he's dating, how old his girl is, and this and that. And he was just like, look, I don't care about none of that y'all talking about. I just want to hoop. And it did the trick because people shut up. There is nothing that silences the critics more than winning does. At the time of this video, the Rockets have now won 10 straight, with Green averaging damn near 30 points, 6 boards, and 4 assists during that span. Houston finds themselves only one game back behind the Warriors for that last playing spot, which is a discussion for another day. But imagine a world where Steph Curry and a healthy Warrior squad doesn't even make the play-in tournament. Either way, it's saying a lot considering that for the last three years, the Rockets have been in that dumpster fire tier of NBA organizations to go along with Detroit, Charlotte, and San Antonio. James Harden left that franchise and took with him what seemed like any sort of basketball knowledge, skill, or competence that the Rockets had. The Houston Rockets were beyond bad. You guys remember that video early on in the season with guys on the bench during a blowout loss where guys just looked fed up with being the laughing stock of the NBA. And as we've seen in the NBA before, when teams are down bad, they are down bad for what seems like an eternity. So with them being as terrible as they've been the last few years, seeing them fighting for a play-in spot as we get into April, this might finally be their turning point. For that to happen though, and for this franchise to finally get up out of that gutter, Jalen Green has to play at this type of level night in and night out. There just can't be any more flashes of greatness here and then you go out and for the next three games you score less than 10 points. He has to consistently be that star that he's shown he could be over the last month. Anthony Edwards is the perfect example of growth you want to see from your young star. He has improved year in and year out, taking that Minnesota Timberwolves squad to the top spot in the Western Conference. His name is even being thrown around in some MVP conversations. To be in year four and already be in the MVP conversation, that's nothing to take lightly. Ant is literally the poster boy of the ideal way you would want a player to develop in this league. Now yes, Ant did come into a way better situation here in Minnesota than Green did in Houston. But we've now seen it. Green has shown us what he's capable of doing on a nightly basis and there's no going back. The expectations from here on out will be high for him to lead this Rockets team to where they want to go. I believe the biggest thing for Jalen Green as well is that he just doesn't want to get left behind. Meaning the NBA is in the midst of entering a new era. The shift is currently happening. Younger stars are emerging as the faces of the league. And as a guy who can be one of those faces, Green doesn't want to get left behind. Especially in the West, when you got guards like Luka, Ant, SGA, you don't want to be the odd man out. So can Green continue to hoop at this level and lead this Rockets team to a play-in berth? We'll see if he has it in on this last stretch of the season. But another young star reaching his potential is always good for the game.